Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a pregnancy update. I'm currently 30 weeks, turning 31 weeks tomorrow. And always like it. Enjoy. So this is what I'm working with right now. 30 weeks, about to be 31 weeks tomorrow. And yeah, that's the belly shot. Um so now that I am in my third trimester, I do feel a lot more tired lately, a lot more uh, sluggish, a little bit more lazy than I did in my second trimester. My second trimester was definitely the best trimester out of the three trimesters that you have. Um, I had all my energy at the time. Um, at times I would feel like I was even pregnant, like I was like moving around, cleaning the house like crazy, organizing things, and now things are definitely slowing down. As soon as I turned 29 weeks this when I really started moving. Um, I haven't had any swelling yet, hopefully I'll experience that this time with this pregnancy. With my previous pregnancy with my daughter, I did swell up quite a bit. I'm usually a size six inch, six and a half inches and my feet were so swollen I had to buy a shoes size eight. Those were the only shoes that fit me and they were that cute but I didn't care at the time. I just wanted shoes that were comfortable and that fit me. So hopefully I'm hoping I don't swell this time but yesterday um, I was like playing I was playing outside with my daughter for a little bit and it was a little warm but not too warm and uh, when I came inside to wash my hands, hands, the hands, the water was super cold in my hands and my fingers felt a lot more firmer and I guess they were a little swollen and that kind of scared me a bit. I'm like, no, no, why is it going to start? But hopefully not. My feet too, they look a little bit uh, cooler than usual. So, I don't know, I need to be careful like, with what I eat, which has been hard lately because my appetite has grown. Yesterday was not a good day for me to eat. Pretty bad yesterday. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to keep that in check. I'm going to try, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know what position the baby is in yet. I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow with my OB, or with the midwife. And uh, I think most likely they're going to do a sonogram to see if he's positioned head down. I am hoping that he is, because my goal is to have a vaginal birth. Since I couldn't have one with my daughter, she was breech free. I've heard when we have a vaginal birth, it's so much easier and the recovery is way faster. And then especially now, since I have a toddler, um, I want the recovery to be way faster than my previous recovery. My uh, recovery for the c-section was, uh, it took a while, it took about like two months and it was so hard for me because I couldn't even sweep or mop or really clean at all and that was probably like the hardest part. <laughs> and also I don't want to be all medicated. Um, I tried like once I left the hospital, I tried not to take as much pain medication, but when you have a C-section, you can, I can't not take them because, I mean, you had a major, major surgery, you're, you're cut from this side to this side, and your organs were probably hanging out, and it's a big surgery, so yeah, you do have to take some pain medication, and I don't want it, and I feel like that kind of, uh, the pain medication kind of messed with my, um, my milk production coming in. So I don't want to go through that whole scenario again. I mean, but if I have to, if the baby's reached, then I have no choice. I mean, I'll know. But I'm hoping that he is not breached and we can have a vaginal delivery. And, uh, but even with that vaginal <laughs> delivery or birth, there's still complications. There's still things that could happen. So that's kind of the back of my head as well. Hopefully he's face down. I think, oh, with my sleep. My sleep in my first, tri first trimester was horrible. Like I would just wake up out of nowhere. Like I'll fall asleep fine and then like probably like at one or two in the morning, I would just, my eyes would just open. Like my brain was just on and I was tired. My body was tired, but I would just be awake and I couldn't fall asleep for like an hour or two. It's 
sometimes three. And then once I went into my second trimester, I was good. Like it kind of, it would happen here and there, but not too often. And it has came back. Now I wake up, not only do I just wake up out of nowhere, I have to go pee like three times a night, two to three times a day. And sometimes I could go back to sleep after I pee, but sometimes I can't. I just lay there and try to get comfortable and and it's hard for me to get comfortable because I'm used to sleeping on my back and that's like my comfort that's usually how I fall asleep and um, you know when you're pregnant they tell you not to not recommend you lie on your back because um, the pressure or the weight of your uterus uh, puts weight on like one of the major arteries it's not good for you or the baby so they recommend that you usually lay on the left side or either or your right or your left but usually it's the left side um i guess it's just a better side to lay on for your circulation and all that and uh, i've been doing that i've been trying my best to lay on my side sometimes i wake up on my back um but the thing with laying on my side is when I change to the other side, like if I change positions or if I just wake up at night, that side that I'm laying on is so, so sore from just, I guess, laying on it. So that's the only bad thing about that. And um, I have to use a big, we have like those European pillows. And I have a body pillow, but for some reason I'm not using it. But <laughs> I put it between my legs so I can feel more comfortable. And I guess when you do that, you're your hips are more aligned with your body as well so that's why you feel more comfortable so I've been doing that at night um, recently it's been pretty warm we are in we just started September but it's still pretty warm and I've been sleeping I think throughout this whole pregnancy I've been sleeping without a blanket I just and then let's see body changes definitely the hair <laughs> It doesn't happen to all women, but women, but to some like me, um, I guess because your hormones are changing, um, your hair tends to get thicker and darker than usual. So I've been dealing with that, and um, also my inner thighs have been touching a lot lately, and it's been getting caught up in there. <laughs> like I've been sweating in that area, which is not cool. So I've been working out. I think I started doing this. It's this prenatal workout plan that I found on YouTube. It's called uh, Glow Body PT. And the girl that does it, her name is Ashley, and she's also pregnant throughout the videos that she's making. And um, I think I started when I was about 14 weeks. But if you go onto her uh, website. Uh, glow body PT it starts at eight weeks so I started a little late but it starts from eight weeks to 32 weeks so once I I have two more weeks to go with the uh, prenatal workout plan but I've been doing it and I feel like it's made a big difference like I feel like if I wasn't working out I would be feeling like more sluggish more body pain more like aches and pains more uh, back pain before I started actually doing these workouts I was having a lot of lower back pain um, or like uh, my left hip was hurting a lot and uh, once I started doing the stretches and I started doing the workouts I've been feeling like way better I don't really get those pains anymore I do get lower back pain uh, like by my tailbone here and there but not as often as I was like before I started working out so they've really been helping out and yeah if you're currently pregnant or you're gonna be pregnant I recommend you check out or her, her, <laughs> her prenatal workout plans um, and then she also has a postnatal she has like a 12-week postnatal workout plan to get like your your muscles and your um, mainly like your ab muscles back to how they're supposed to be and um, and then after she has like a, a six-week um, kind of like get your body back plan type of thing but that one you do have to pay for and I believe it's like $200 so I'm kind of I want to get it but I'm kind of debating because it's a little pricey but we'll see I mean I want to keep working out and hopefully I stick to working out after I give birth to this baby even though he can't work out for the first six weeks that's my goal I'm hoping that I stay motivated and have enough energy and just find ways to you know be active and keep working so like when I don't work out 
So her workout plan is a, like a five day workout plan and she gives you like two days to rest. And I try to do the whole five days. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, depending on what we do that week. Um, but I at least try to get at least three days in. So between three to five days, I try to stick to the workout plan. Um, I actually have it printed out. You don't have to print it out, but I have it printed and I have it like posted on my wall. So like first thing in the morning when I get up, I see it and I'm like, okay, I need to do this, this, and this today. And I was going to show you guys, but I left it in my room and my daughter's sleeping and I don't want to wake her. So <laughs> you guys can always just go on the website and you can download it right there. I highly recommend working out while you're pregnant if you can if you have a total normal and healthy pregnancy like if you get the okay from your doctor that you could work out then I highly recommend it um, before um, I think with my yeah with my first pregnancy I didn't really work out I was working full-time and I would get home super tired like I would try to go on walks and stuff but, but it doesn't really make a difference I would walk like once or twice a week and um, I guess I you could say I would like throw shade on people that were working out while they were pregnant or like I would kind of like hate on them, kind of like why they're working out, like after you have a baby, like all your muscle mass is going to go away and it's like pointless, blah, blah, blah. And um, now I'm one of those people, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, even though I know that not even like whatever muscle I'm building now or whatever whatever I'm working now is all pretty much gonna go away when I have the baby. Um, I feel like it's still good to work out because it makes your body feel good and your pregnancy a lot smoother. Um, so yeah, now I'm totally, totally for working out when you're pregnant. And let's see what else. My, how my toddler, my toddler's been, she's been handling, handling it pretty good. She knows there's a well, she says she knows there's, I don't know if she actually knows there's a baby in there, but she like, she'll call it, oh, little baby, and she'll like, uh, she'll go up to it and kiss it and give it high fives, and she's been handling it well. She's sweet to babies, like, my my sister who has a five-month-old, she's really like, when she like, touches her, she touches her like, she touches her really soft, she tries to touch her face, but I'll tell her, no, not the face, just her arms or her legs, and she actually listens. So, I feel like she'll be a good big sister. She you might get jealousy in there. I mean, that's totally normal, and I'm, hopefully, it's not too bad of a jealousy thing. And um, let's see what else. Uh, we are currently kind of potty training her. She's been going um, number two in the toilet the past two days. She actually told me before she had to go and we actually made it to the toilet and she had like no poop at all on her diaper because sometimes she would tell me that she was pooped already but i feel like now she's kind of getting the hang of it except today she did go like halfway in her diaper and then she finished in the toilet um so that would be nice if she if we get her potty trained by the time the baby comes so we don't have to worry about buying diapers for her and i don't have to worry about changing her diaper either because <laughs> toddlers move way more than newborns and it's a lot easier to change a newborn diaper than a toddler's diaper it's for sure so yeah, and uh, this, I've been working on like the baby shower stuff. My baby shower is going to be in a few weeks, in like three weeks. And it's going to be a Winnie the Pooh theme. And I've got most, well not most of the stuff, but like uh, like the decoration stuff together. Uh, yesterday I was working on the banner. And um, I'm almost done with the banner. It's going to be like three banners that I've made. And uh, yeah, my mom's helping me out with the whole baby shower thing so pretty excited for the baby shower i did order a dress on fashion nova and for some reason i thought a size small would work because i thought it looked pretty stretchy and i was like oh you know i want to get a small so like after my pregnancy i can wear it as well tried it on and it's pretty tight like it fits but the material isn't like this kind of material where like it could stretch a lot that one uh it stretches but it's a little snug to your body so I'm gonna have to return it and hopefully the medium will come in time if not if I feel like it's taking too long then I'm just gonna order like a dress on Amazon because I have Prime so I'll get it within two days so yeah I actually need to go today and drop it off at the post office to get that whole process return process going because I heard it takes about like a week 
So hopefully my dress or my outfit comes in time for my shower. And also I want to change my daughter's room to a room that we have on the other side of the house. And it's a lot bigger and then change her room into the baby's nursery. And we haven't even started moving anything. So I don't even know if that's even gonna happen, but I mean, I still have like 10 weeks to go. So we shall see. And mood has been mm, so so. It has changed a little bit. I have been a little bit more, uh, I would say like my, uh, my patience has run a little bit more than usual. <laughs> and um, I think it has to do with the whole like not sleeping thing too. Like sometimes I don't, like other day I think I only slept like a few hours and I, I was at females yesterday. I only slept like a little bit and I was pretty cranky. Uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button below.